The thing that differentiates us from other animals is our ability to use our intellect to discover new ways to improve our lives. While most inventions and understandings are the result of a concerted effort to solve a problem, there are some that have been found by complete chance. Here are 15 of the most accidental historical discoveries ever. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. <sighs> Number 15. The microwave. They're found in most modern kitchens and are an invaluable tool to heat up food. But did you know that microwaves were an accidental invention? An engineer called Percy Spencer was working for the Raytheon Corporation on developing a new radar system following the Second World War. While he was experimenting with the design though, he realized that some chocolate in his pocket had actually melted far sooner than he would have expected. This piqued his curiosity, so he began testing what else could be heated up by the radar tube and found that it could cook eggs and popcorn too. He soon proved that the objects were being heated up by the microwave energy and the first microwave oven was designed. The company patented the invention and first began selling the technology in 1946 and the first mass-produced versions were released in 1955. Still, these were too large for home use and were only commercially available but by the late 70s, low-cost versions made them available to home kitchens around the world. Time for the rare topic. After animals die and their bodies are buried for many years, soon all that remains is just their skeleton. This has led on a number of occasions to people misidentifying what the animal bones once came from and was, for example, why the ancient Greeks mistakenly thought cyclopses existed when they were in fact looking at the remains of a mammoth. In this example though, there doesn't seem to be as much room for error. The image shows a skeleton being uncovered, which very clearly looks like the main body of a horse with the torso of a human. Is this proof that centaurs really existed and if so, what happened to them? Based on the size of the person clearing the dirt away, the human part of this centaur would have also been much bigger than we are. If centaurs are real, does it then also mean that other creatures once thought to be mythical are actually based in reality too? Let us know what you think. Comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag rear topic and we might pin the comment that best explains what's being shown on this image. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Insulin. For people who suffer from diabetes, insulin is literally a life-saving drug. Scientists weren't trying to create it when it was first produced, however, but the work done by two doctors at the University of Strasbourg in 1889 had changed millions of people's lives since. They were studying the pancreas and wanted to understand its involvement in digestion. To do this, they had removed the organ from a dog. After a few days, they noticed something unusual happening. Flies were swarming around the dog's urine something they hadn't been doing before the pancreas was taken out. When they tested the urine, they found abnormally high levels of salt in it and realized that they had unintentionally caused the dog to suffer from diabetes. While those two doctors never found out what the pancreas was producing to control sugar levels, further studies that were carried out at the University of Toronto between 1920 and 1922 discovered a secretion that was being emitted, which they called insulin. For the discovery, they won the Nobel Prize, but it wouldn't have been possible without the accidental work and the sacrifice of the dog three decades earlier. Number 13. Miniaturized Pacemaker For such a specific device, it's quite amazing that pacemakers were stumbled upon quite by chance, but that's exactly how the first prototype was created. Wilson Greatbatch, an assistant professor at the University of Buffalo, was working on the design of a machine to record heartbeats. He mistakenly used a 1 mega ohm resistor instead of a 10,000 ohm resistor and initially thought he had ruined his experiment, but noticed something strange happening. The circuit he built was making a signal that sounded almost identical to the human heart. It dawned upon him that this could be used to electronically regulate the heart and would even override the naturally occurring beat of people suffering from certain diseases. Before this discovery, machines to do this were huge and could only be temporarily attached while the patient was in hospital. These new devices were much smaller and could even be inserted into someone's chest, which meant they could take them with them wherever they go. Number 12. Cosmic Background Radiation Cosmic background radiation can be found throughout the universe and is thought to be the residual echo of the Big Bang. This wasn't known for sure in the 1960s though, despite some scientists theorizing that if the Big Bang theory was correct, there should be some remnants that still exist from such a massive event. Robert Dickey published his theory that radiation remaining from the Big Bang should be able to be detected as background radiation, so he and his team set to work to find it and therefore prove the overall theory. He was beaten to the chase, however, by another team of astronomers who were working at a telescope just 37 miles away. In 1964, 
Robert Wilson and Arno Penzias were charting constellations at the Homedale Antenna in New Jersey and picked up a strange background noise that they couldn't explain. They ruled out effects from nuclear testing, urban activity, and pigeons that lived in the antenna. But then they came across the paper that had been published by Robert Dickey. For their discovery, they went on to win the Nobel Prize, and Dickey had no choice but to concede defeat and famously said to those he was working with, well boys, we've been scooped. Number 11. Gunpowder it's perhaps ironic that one of the most deadly inventions ever, gunpowder, was created by people trying to create the complete opposite. It has its origins in ancient China. During the 9th century, alchemists were, attempting, alchemists were attempting to create an elixir that would afford its user eternal life, and to do so they mixed a combination of saltpeter, sulfur, and charcoal. As you'd expect, instead of staving off death, they instead had a highly flammable substance that would become a vital component to Chinese warfare for centuries to come. If you're skeptical about this story that it was originally meant to help with the onset of aging, then you simply need to look at the Chinese word for gunpowder, hua ya. It translates to mean fire medicine because of its roots in a pharmacological field of study. Number 10. The Slinky Almost all kids have had the fun of playing with a slinky when they were growing up. The toy that somewhat dangerously encourages children to play on the stairs has been around since 1943. But surprisingly, the first one was created by a naval engineer who was working on a wartime project. Richard James was experimenting with tension springs and trying to find an effective way to create a meter to determine the horsepower of naval ships. You can imagine his workshop with springs of all shapes and sizes on the benches, and one day he accidentally knocked one over the side. As the spring fell to the floor in all of its mesmerizing beauty, he realized that he was onto something. The idea was soon sold to a toy company and the slinky was born. It was perfect timing too. In the wake of the war, supplies were limited and there wasn't much innovation in the toy market. Slinkies, however, require very little to manufacture and have been a source of enjoyment for bored kids ever since. Number 9. Matches the first surprising thing about matches that you may not know is that they were actually invented after the first lighter. The chemical compounds needed to create a flame when a match is struck are really quite complicated and weren't discovered on purpose. John Walker, a British pharmacist, was mixing a jar of chemicals with a stick in 1826 when he noticed some had dried on the end and formed a lump of residue. He attempted to scrape it off in case it interfered with what he was doing and noticed that when he was doing so, sparks and flames were produced. This led to the development of the first commercially sold matches from his pharmacy, which he called friction lights. At first, the stems of these matches were made from cardboard, in a similar way to the complementary ones you often find at bars or hotels, but he went on to develop ones made from 3-inch long wooden splints, all of which he made by hand. His invention made it easier to make fire as lighters were very expensive in comparison to his friction lights. People were able to start fires in their homes to warm themselves and for cooking without having to use flints, rub sticks together or running next door to take some from their neighbors. Number 8. Superglue. In 1942, Dr. Harry Cooper from the Eastman Kodak Laboratories, which went on to become the well-known camera company, was working in his lab trying to develop a new substance for making precision gun sights. He created a chemical compound that he called cyanocrylite, but it was completely impractical for what he wanted to use it for. It kept sticking to everything. He soon moved on to trying different compounds, and it would be another six years until he revisited his creation. This time, he was working on developing new canopy designs for aircraft, but again, the cyanocrylite was proven to be as ineffective as it had before. During his testing though, Cooper realized that this compound was able to form very strong bonds without needing to be heated. His research team began sticking different objects together and saw how effective it was at keeping a firm grip. And so the first superglue was discovered. He immediately applied for a patent for his product, and by 1958, cyanocrylate was being sold in stores around the world as a revolutionary substance that could be used in manufacturing and home DIY without the high cost that were required previously to achieve the same effect. Number 7. Cholera Vaccine Cholera is a nasty disease that's caused by an infection of the small intestine and leads to symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea, cramps, and severe dehydration. Even today, as many as 5 million people contract the illness worldwide each year, and outbreaks often happen in places with poor sanitation. There is, however, a vaccine to prevent the contraction of cholera. But unlike other vaccines that are specifically developed to combat a problematic disease, this one was found by chance. 
Louis Pasteur was investigating chickens that were suffering from cholera and managed to isolate a microbe that was present in their blood. Many thought this microbe was formed as a result of being infected, but Pasteur found that injecting it into healthy chickens would soon cause them to die. He tried to alter the microbe to reduce its effects, but no matter what he did, it would always kill the chickens. He was getting nowhere, so decided to go on vacation to clear his mind. He left his assistant in charge of injecting the chickens with a new batch of bacteria, but his assistant instead went for a break too. When they both got back, they injected the chickens, but this time, none of them died. They both assumed that because the bacteria had sat in the lab for a few weeks, they had been spoiled, so they whipped up a fresh batch and gave a dose to each of the chickens. To their surprise, the test subjects remained healthy, and they realized that the attenuated bacteria they had created were able to block cholera bacteria from taking hold. Now, on the right path, they were able to recreate what had happened and went on to develop an effective vaccine, albeit one that only works for around six months before becoming inactive. Number six, safety glass. Before the invention of plastics, most containers and receptacles were made from glass, but this came with a problem, it's very easy to break. The only choice was to be very careful with glass objects because if they took a hard knock, they would shatter into sharp pieces and could potentially cause serious harm. Now though, we have safety glass that's used in a range of items and while it may seem obvious now, its discovery was all down to the clumsiness of a materials researcher. He was working in a cluttered lab and accidentally knocked a beaker from a high shelf. It of course smashed when it hit the floor, but instead of breaking up into sharp shards, it shattered in a more uniform and less dangerous way. At first, he was unsure how this was possible, but he took a closer look and realized that this beaker hadn't been washed properly before being put on the shelf. It contained residue of plastic on the inside from a previous experiment and its presence had held the glass together on impact. After further testing, this principle is used in the production of all safety glass now, where another layer is added that controls how it breaks and prevents sharp edges from forming. Number five, popsicles. During the heat of the summer, there's nothing quite like the refreshing and cooling effects of an ice cream or a popsicle. But we may never have been able to enjoy the wonders of a frozen treat on a stick if it hadn't been for an accident in San Francisco in 1905. Frank Epperson, an 11-year-old at the time, had been playing in the yard and was stirring powdered soda mix and water together in a glass with a stirring stick. This was his favorite drink, but it was so cold that day that he didn't finish it all. And in the evening, he was called in by his parents and forgot about the rest of the drink, which he left on the porch. It was a particularly cold year in San Francisco and the temperatures plummeted overnight. When he went out in the morning, he noticed that his drink had frozen around the wooden stirring stick and pulled on it to reveal the world's first ever popsicle. After showing his new invention to his friends, the idea was soon picked up by food manufacturers and now they're a staple offering around the world whenever the sun comes out. Number four, Kevlar. Nowadays, you'll rarely see a police officer or someone in the military who doesn't either wear a Kevlar vest or at least have access to one if they're entering a dangerous place. It's such a vital piece of equipment that you'd assume they were specifically designed for that purpose, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In 1965, a chemist called Stephanie Qualick was hired by DuPont to work on developing a new generation of fibers. In particular, she was trying to create a material that could be used in the production of vehicle tires that would be lighter, tougher, and cheaper than the compounds that were being used at the time. During her research, she managed to create a material that was extremely lightweight, but was still at least five times stronger than steel, and this led to the eventual development of Kevlar as we know it today. Her invention has gone on to save the lives of thousands of people whose jobs put them in the line of fire, and it's regarded as one of the most important discoveries of a protective material ever. It's not just used to prevent injury either, its strength means that variants of Kevlar have also been used to surround underground cables to protect them from accidental damage and even in the construction of suspension bridges. Number three, chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are one of the most recognizable snacks in the world, and we've all been guilty of gorging on them at some point in our lives. As with many recipes though, their invention was a complete accident and only happened because of a lack of other ingredients. The first batch were amazingly only made in 1930. Ruth Graves Wakefield, the company owner of the Toll House Inn, was preparing her recipe for her melt-in-the-mouth chocolate cookies when she realized that she had run out of Baker's chocolate. Not wanting to let her guests down, she found some nestled semi-sweet 
sweet chocolate and began to chop it up into small pieces. She fully expected the chocolate to melt when the cookies were being baked and thought it would eventually mix throughout. She was, of course, completely wrong about this though and when the cookies were ready, the chocolate lumps had stayed in place. While this wasn't what she intended to make, she still served them to her guests and they were an instant hit. The chocolate chip cookies were born. Wakefield went down in history as their inventor and the world's sweet tooth was catered to in one of the most delicious ways possible. Number 2. Botox It's by far the most poisonous substance known to mankind and it's also one of the most expensive products to ever be made but Botox, also known as Botulium toxin, has become one of the most popular beauty treatments of all. It's a surprise considering how deadly it can be but when used in minute quantities, it creates the effect of relaxing muscles and therefore reducing wrinkles and perspiration. Of course, no one initially thought it would be a good idea to inject a substance that's formed from bacteria in rotted meat into someone's forehead but in the late 70s and early 80s, an ophthalmologist from San Francisco was exploring new techniques to help combat crossed eyes. He was aware of the effects of the neurotoxin which include the paralysis of muscles and theorized that this trait would help with the condition. After first testing it on monkeys, his experiments proved to be a resounding success and it became a routine treatment for babies and children who had crossed eyes or facial tics. With his work, he also discovered other uses for what would become known as Botox. The injections made patients' face lift up and appeared to reverse the signs of aging. By 1989, the FDA had approved the use of the toxin for cosmetic purposes and this led to a revolution in the discipline of elective surgeries. Number 1. Plastic Natural plastic-like materials have been around for a long time but their restricted availability meant that it was impossible to use them across such a wide range of products as synthetic plastics are used today. In 1907, a Belgian-American chemist named Leo Bakeland was working in his lab in New York, trying to develop an alternative to shellac, a type of resin that was used to coat wood but was in limited supply because it came from the secretions of lac insects. He was experimenting with a mixture of phenol and formaldehyde and was at first successful in his endeavor but it failed to sell very well. He continued his experiments but this time attempted to strengthen wood by injecting his synthetic resin into it but instead of doing what he intended, he instead created a hard material that could be molded into any shape which he would later call Bakelite. This was the first synthetically produced type of plastic and Bakerland immediately saw the myriad of potential uses for this material. He was granted a patent for it in 1909 and began commercially producing it later that year. It went on to be marketed as the material for a thousand uses and would be found in homes across America and the world. With no concept of what plastics were before his discovery, this really was something that happened by accident. It would revolutionize manufacturing and allowed for the production of goods at a fraction of the cost from before, which transformed the lives of people throughout the 20th century. Of course, with what we now know about how plastics have affected the environment, it's also one of the most damaging inventions ever. Which of these are the most surprising to you and which ones do you think have had the most influence on your life? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.